Please welcome Alexis Bledel, everybody. Alexis Bledel. Thank you. How are you? You all right? I'm all right. Really? Yeah. yeah. You, you look a little nervous. Um, I'm maybe a little bit. Really? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm just a creepy old dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything will be fine. All this right. film looks adorable. Oh, thanks. Is yeah. it about someone looking for a job? It might be. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much is. Yeah. She's um she's not having a lot of luck in the process and right. um. So Does just, she find a job in the film? Don't tell me. I, I yeah, I better not. <laughs> It'll be all right. Is it a love story? I mean, it, there's a little bit of sort of a romantic storyline as well, but um, no, she has to move back in with her parents basically because I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that go? Uh, yeah, it wasn't so great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you done that? Um, no, I haven't had to, but I some of my friends had, and actually some of them love it. Like it's not. Yo, yeah. Necessarily. <laughs> Do you know, we, we met, ever. of course, before backstage at, at yeah. David Letterman, didn't we? When you, right. I, we were on the show, and and I, and I met you backstage. Yeah, that's he's right. terrifying, isn't he? <laughs> I was terrified, actually. That was the first time I'd ever been on his show, and um, I think you you were coming off right as I was going on, and you were so like lovely, and you had great energy, and you made me actually quite relaxed. So that was good. <laughs> it was nice to meet you there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I, I, were you frightened of Dave? I sometimes get a bit frightened of Dave with his enormous head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it's, it's shocking. No, he's always nice to me. Well, no, he, he's nice. He's nice. It's just a little, whoa. Uh, you know, when he comes at you with that thing, you're like, whoa. Easy. Easy. With that, you know, it's, whoa. Yeah. I do see what you mean. He's my boss, you know. Is he really? I did not know that. Yeah, I'll be fired soon. <laughs> show all the time because no I'd no. like to but he doesn't want me to uh, <laughs> says it interferes with the natural flow of things oh. <laughs> you go disrupt the... no he, he just he just he doesn't like me that much uh, yeah. uh, I, did you see that film that you made that bit of the film that we saw yeah yeah where did you make that film um, we made it in Los Angeles in the valley really because I'm sure I recognize that kitchen oh <laughs> it looked like your uh, kitchen well, not my kitchen, oh. but a kitchen I had seen. Oh. No, it was like a random home in... in per perhaps it comes in a kit form. <laughs> because it some might. Kitchens sometimes do it. Do you have a kit form kitchen, or did you design it yourself? I don't. I designed it myself. Really? But you know what's cool is when people... Um, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen this in California, but in Texas, sometimes you see, like, half of an entire house uh -huh. um, on, the, on the back of, like, a flatbed flying down the highway. <laughs> Like, a person is not wanting to, you know, move their articles or things, so they just, they just take their whole house. Yeah, well, you know what, you know what causes pieces. that, of course, is divorce. Oh, I'm not in this house. You they cut that out. house right in half and take it away. Yeah. And then they move back in with their parents, and their parents are like, Oi, we can't have half a house here. And you go, well, where else am I meant to put it? And they put it in. Well, then you can just attach it to their house. House and a half. It's very practical. <laughs> It reminds me of a poem by Shel Silverstein called A Giraffe and a Half. Let's hear it. <laughs> I love Shel Silverstein. Do you? Yeah. Do you know the poem A Giraffe and a Half? I don't know that one. It's I don't about a, if you had a giraffe and you added another half, you'd have a giraffe and a half. And then it, it goes on from it's there. It's very clever. <laughs> it, you know, this I mean, giraffe, it's logical. <laughs> well, it, it, it is, and it goes on, you know, like the giraffe goes through all sorts of... Adventures. Adventures. Yeah, yeah. It gets fantastic. a bee on his knee. You know, it's right. Shel Silverstein. <laughs> what Shel Silverstein do you like then? Well, the, the attic, isn't it? The light in the attic? That is that Shel Silverstein? Is it not? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it I, is. I don't know. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, good. Well done. <laughs> yes. No. He also wrote A Boy Named Sue. Did you know that? The song? The Johnny Yes. Cash? No, he didn't. Swear to God. <laughs> Absolutely. That one, the kicking and the gouging and the mud and the blood and the beer. Like that was Shel It is kind of different from most of his other songs. It's really kind of That's silly right, and yeah. And a, a lot of things rhyme in it, which... Which makes perfect sense. Are yeah. you a big poetry buff? Do you enjoy poetry? I'm not. No, no, it's, I, it's difficult poetry, isn't it? Well, <laughs> I enjoy it. I like sort of, you know, hearing it or reading it. I can't write it or anything. Do boys try and read you poetry sometimes? No. <laughs> you are lying, lying, lying. No. I think 
that's a sort of a, sort of an old-fashioned custom, isn't it? I maybe the, the boys of today. <laughs> I mean. When I was I young, we would, we'd read poems to the ladies, and That's then we'd go I on meant. the bicycle with the oh. one big wheel and the no. one little wheel. And... That's not what I meant at all. No, no, but I, I think... That would be lovely, though. Well, you're from Texas, aren't you? Yes. Well, aren't the, the men are very chivalrous and romantic they are, in Texas. Yeah, very... They don't read you poetry from Texas? No, I I'm... saw a cow. I never dated stuff. a Texan. <laughs> You, you, you never dated a text? No, but now you want, you, you've made me really want to look up some Texan poetry. Cause <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame you... What about rodeos? Do you like a rodeo? I love rodeos. Oh, well, yeah. see, yeah, there you are then. Oh, they're good fun, yeah. Do you ever get on a horse and just let it go nuts? <laughs> no. <laughs> you mostly watch... It's a spectator sport for the most part. You just kind of watch it happen, and sometimes it's really terrifying because they... I mean... I have issues with it a little bit because the animals, you know, what they make them, what they put them through to make them buck the way they do is really what sort do they of do? awful. Well, they they sort of tie them in an in an area. They tie them up ah. <laughs> where you don't want to be tied up. It's terrible. How do I get me some of that? <laughs> you don't want that. No, that that's it's really terrible. They, that's what they make them like. They're wearing really really that's tight pants. That's why they kick like crazy. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, no, that is no, bad. No, the bull, the bucking broncos. Oh, the bull. No, yes, I'd never yes. get on the back of a bull. No, no, it's very dangerous. That's dangerous. But now it's a big, it's a big event. They have a huge stadium in Houston where they put fireworks indoors, and and they have fireworks indoors. Yes, I was very surprised that they did such a thing. I've but never. We, I tried it here once. You did. <laughs> I that did. would be cool. Wait, no, I did. I, tried, I was just a sparkler. Right. <laughs> well, which is technically a firework. I mean... And I and I had it in the ear, and the, the <laughs> fire guy was over there. And he said, don't light it, don't light it. Don't and I, do it. And I lit it. Oh. Did you ever try those pop rocks where you just throw them and they... That's did you, kind of did you ever get uh, space rocks and uh, co cola? Oh. <laughs> uh, the, uh... Doesn't that kill you or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, no. It does. But I've done it. <laughs> and you survived. Hey. That was the, the, the myth, wasn't it? Mike on the Wheaties box. With the, was, uh, was it the Wheaties box? That, that he took Pop oh, yeah, Rocks yeah, and Cola and died. Well, he didn't. He's fine. He's fine. He's all right, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's it's... fine. And he never took Pop Rocks and Cola either. He's... It's an old wives' tale anyway. Yes. They, people would gather around the campfire back in the day. And say, <laughs> Just make up stories. They had nothing up. better. It's kind of like what we do here. Yeah. yeah. I got hit by a firework on the 4th of July. No way. A Where? home one. I, it, well, I, it wasn't bad. But it felt like a little metal, like a hot little metal thing and it just like scathed my my wrist and I, it freaked me out so yeah i don't think i'm going to be doing the the backyard fireworks again but it was no. spectacular I, I i hurt my finger on the desk i saw that <laughs> I saw, yeah although i think that's tomorrow night I hurt yeah, my finger. Next week. I'm I'm Kel I'm Celtic. We're very psychic. Yeah. I... You see into the future. I can. It's, yeah. it's remarkable. Well, we're we're done. We're out of time, which oh, is okay. tragic for me because I I think you're just delightful. Would oh, you, would, thank you, you. <laughs> would you come back and talk to us again? I would love it. No, yes. no, you have to not, you know, wait for a long time. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe next week. Or... Yeah. Can you come back yeah, next week? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll make it happen. We'll yeah. do fireworks. Hey. Yeah. But <laughs> I tell you what. What? Let's set up a thing where we'll do really dangerous, fi uh, really stunts? dangerous firework stunts, and you do them. Oh, <laughs> that's not very nice. <laughs> it's okay for me. Why don't we? <laughs> we can, we can, but we can get everyone involved. I'd feel safer that way if we could kind of what, what disperse the activities what, among the audience. You mean? Well, not the audience clearly, but maybe you could join me in some, you know, firework um, horseplay. Yes. <laughs> And some stuntery. Okay, you've got it. The next time I see you, we'll have firework horseplay. Yes. The lovely Alexis Liddell, everybody. Bye-bye.